What's happening, y'all? It's your man, Earl. It is uh, June 29th, Monday. We're just leaving the bookstore. It's been a long day. Good day. Good day at work. A lot accomplished. Uh, we are super grinding it out, y'all. We are trying to get it to a place where we can reopen. We are thankful to the Most High God. He allowing us to just be here. You know, thank you for those who are still ordering. Thank you for those who ordered through the COVID through the shutdown, through the self-quarantine. We thank you for the sauce orders. That's our sister company, Deuces Wild 22. Uh, you can find that on Facebook as well and all social media channels, outlets, platforms. But this is the Fig Tree Bookstores. And today's subject matter is the breaking point. The breaking point. And the question I have to ask you guys is, uh, what? first of all, do you guys know what the breaking point is? Most people have no idea what the breaking point is. And I just want to give you guys uh, a quick description of uh, the breaking point. And so we have an understanding of what we're talking about today. The breaking point, first of all, comes out of uh, pop psychology, human psychology. And it's the point, the moment, the intersection of stress in which a person or a group of people have a mental breakdown or a situation becomes so critical that the intensity of stress causes you to really fall apart. Uh, you've heard people melt down, have mental meltdowns. I've seen people just go to the hospital, have to pop pills to take anxiety pills, all kinds of stuff. But I want you guys to understand that you, you're not going to get to the next place in life until you can manage the breaking point. And let me give you this one really quickly. The breaking point is different for everybody. So don't uh, look at one person and say, ha, ha, who, who, look at you. Because what one person can sustain, somebody else might be someone's nightmare. And so what do you need to do? What do you need to do so you don't have a brain snap, if you will, or you don't have a meltdown, if you will? Well, you have to understand what causes you to get to that breaking point. You got to understand what, what causes you to, to really snap. You know, what, what causes you to just lose it? Is it something that somebody said? Is it somebody challenging your ego? Is somebody challenging how you think about yourself, an idea? You know, all these different things are triggers. Is it the amount of pressure? You know, I tell people all the time, I put more pressure on myself than anybody has ever put on me. You know, and I, I think I developed that early in life as a young man. You know, I'll say it again. I put a lot more stress and pressure because of what I expect myself to do. And so I have to learn that, you know what? Um... Uh, take a step back, take a seat, take a bigger look, not just my eyes in front of me, but what do I, what am I missing? And so a lot of times we get to the breaking point because we allow other people to tell us where we should and shouldn't be. We even allow situations to even sometimes cloud our judgment. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to be that way. Okay. So what do you do? First of all, you understand how your brain works. You understand that the reason why people have breakdowns is because you have what's going on in your mind versus what's actually going on in your environment versus what's actually going on, what you imagine it to be. And typically when those things don't meet up or those things don't mesh, you snap. Okay, you snap. And you need to monitor those things that we call triggers, all right? Some people can't take strong coffee, a good friend of mine says. Some people can't take the truth, right? So you start talking truth, and all of a sudden, you can bring someone to their breaking point, and vice versa. You have to understand what brings you to your breaking point. So, today's 181 on the calendar, Monday, June 29th. Today's subject matter is the breaking point. What is the breaking point? The moment, the situation, the part that is of greatest strain pressure on which someone or a group of individuals give way. You've seen teams come to a breaking point. 
up by 50, up by 25 in football. Then halftime comes, you come out, other team scores really quickly, and all of a sudden, other team is broke. They reach the breaking point and they can't recover. You've seen it in many different things. What you have to be mindful is the key to moving past the breaking point is to relax and understand that you're on your own timeline, that you're on your own plan, that you're on your own set of dreams, goals, and ambitions. And don't let the environment around you take you off your score. You say, you've heard me say a lot of times, okay? Because guess what? You will come to points of critical breaking as part of life. But the question is, what do you do? And I'm telling you right now, first of all, take a deep breath, relax. You've heard this, the two-second rule, five-second rule, three-second rule. You've heard me say these many things on many different channels. This one, as well as Deuces Wild 22. One, take a deep, take a deep breath. Two, count to five. Three, go back to your plan. That's how you manage through the breaking point. God bless you, God keep your day. 181, June 29th, Monday Head into the house. God bless you. Peace.